Senior Perfecto opens up at minus 190. Currently has swollen, AJ. Minus 245, plus 200 comeback for Kyle Nelson. What's the path to victory right here if you're Bill Algeo? Because if there's one prop that I love right here, I love. Plus 115, decision, Bill Algeo. I say you take the golden Thor's hammer, maybe silver, whatever, and you smash that thing all day long. What's the path to victory for Bill Algeo? What's nice for El Gio is he has a couple different paths to victory, and I see him, especially in the big cage, controlling that uh, controlling that link, controlling the distance, and just pecking at Kyle Nelson, getting him a little agitated, not allowing Nelson to put this fight, you know, push him up against the cage or, or control him in any sort of way, and really just making this a more aggravating fight for Kyle Nelson, because if you let Nelson get going, he's going to be have that snowball effect and really get things working. The good thing for El Gio, though, if Nelson is able to get his hands on him, Dude's a black belt, so he's not too worried right there going into this. So we're going to be able to see how El Gio is able to play both sides of the fight game right here and see where some real high eye fight IQ comes into play. I would agree through and through. I think Algeo needs to be first. I think he needs to not let Kyle Nelson establish his rhythm. Don't let Nelson be on the front foot because that's going to be just a recipe for, for problems. But this is going to be my biggest thing. I always feel like Algeo starts the fights off fantastic and then as rounds two and round three because he's gone eight of his last 10 fights through decision, right? Round two and round three, he starts getting hittable. He starts getting pieced up a little bit. He starts staying in the pocket a little too long. So I'm just hoping he removes himself from the pocket because Kyle Nelson can crack and he can hurt you, whether it's a leg kick or a big bomb up top. But I think for Kyle Nelson, you're probably going to have to get a finish. I don't see grappling being the approach to winning this fight. And as long as Bill Algeo can stay crafty for 15 solid minutes, I think he gets the job done. Again, I'm staying away from the money line. And I really, really like that plus 115 decision. I can't say enough how much I like it. So I say smash it while it's still plus money. What do you think, AJ? I think smash that decision as well. And, and what I think can happen right here, if you're Nelson better, just the control up against the cage and mitigate that length that Al is going to try to fight. So the yeah. same thing on the other end, Al is going to be looking to show out and make some, some fancy moves to be able to create a little bit of distance right here, making it really a calculated fight. Plus 115 decision sounds great. Let's not forget the big cage, Atlantic City. I mean, it's in the favor of Bill Al So that's the pick right there. Another bloody, another bloody water podcast consensus pick.